Well, today's walk through Texas history video might be a little odd. I'll be going inside and washing some clothes. But before I do, let's check out some history I'm standing on as we speak. Join me today, shall you? Out here at the corner of Collins and Preston in Richmond, Texas, is this little cemetery, the Ferris Family Cemetery. I actually was shown this by a viewer that had watched my previous video on the cemetery in Spring Branch. I thought this was pretty cool. I had to come by and video it as soon as I got in the area. There are 13 people that are buried here, mostly the Ferris family members. There are a few more. Uh, this is Alexander Kerr. And it's got the largest headstone, the one that stands out. Captain Travis R. Beard was a soldier in the Confederate Army in the 24th Texas Cavalry, Wilkes Cavalry. He started as a first lieutenant and then made his final rank of captain. He was captured three different times during battles in the uh, Civil War. Here's a husband and wife. Uh, she was a Ferris. Thomas Remsen and Myrtle Ferris Cox. Dr. George Achille Ferris was a Texas Ranger, was at the Battle of San Jacinto. He was also at the Battles of Palo Alto, Resaca de la Palma, and Monterey during the Mexican American War and the Battle of Plum Creek in the Council House fight. He also served in the Civil War when he was appointed surgeon by Governor Lubbock to the Confederate Army. He was captured by federal troops in 1863 but returned back to his Confederate service. Later he went on and was a very important person in the University of Texas Medical Branch and was known to raise horses. He was a very prominent man in the Richmond area. Not much is known about Ian Dell Ferris, the youngest son. He actually did serve in the Confederate Army for the 8th Texas Cavalry, Terry, Texas Rangers. At the age of 15, he enlisted. He then went on to become a surveyor and county tax assessor in Fort Bend County. Achille Ferris, which would be George's oldest son, also was a Texas Ranger and served in the Terry's Texas Rangers, the 8th Texas Cavalry during the Civil War. He didn't live a very long life, but he did have three daughters to carry on his legacy. Well, we're here now at the back corner of the cemetery, and that'll do it today, folks. This small plot here, maybe 80 feet by 50 feet, here at the corner of Collins and Preston in front of the Washateria. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good one, folks.